This is Jason Norman with AndroidTap.com, the world's leader in Android Tap reviews. This is Jason Norman with AndroidTap.com here today to uh, review the X Plane 9 Android app that uh, was recently uh, released. And if you're familiar with the one from the uh, iOS version, uh, this is very familiar. Um, the same setup with the HUD display, uh, the compass down towards the bottom um, with the altimeter and uh, the airspeed on the left hand side. So you're presented in, in the beginning with some uh, some tips on how to get started. So uh, what you'll notice is that the controls do get um, pushed to the back. Uh, that way, obviously, there is a manual on how to uh, use this application. But uh, what I'm going to do real quick is once you tap on here, um, some of the controls do come up that you can take a look at. Some of the uh, external displays as well, which um, can allow you if you if you're used to the external views, may work very well for you. But you'll notice it's very smooth. Um, everything seems to be playing very well. Um, if you look here, it's got the let's get the brakes off here, and let's uh, bring up some flaps because uh, we'll need it. And and as you notice, uh, I mean, this is obviously an application that can be used for beginners. A lot of pilots uh, use this application as well to do some training, uh, specifically when you look at some of the uh, the other options as well, such as doing the instrument display, um, depending on what aircraft you're using at the time being. So um, it could be very useful. Um, but as you take a look, it's uh, pretty much what you'd expect out of a flight simulator. Um, but uh, again, this may be, for some people, <laughs> a little uh, uh, hard to understand. Uh, but for pilots who are used to it, um, definitely this would be something that uh, would work very well for you, but let's go back to the cockpit here. We're going to go ahead and attempt to uh, take off here in a moment after I show you a couple of these options. Um, you can choose the map, um, choose the different regions you have available. Um, you can, there's also several different aircraft ranging from the Cessna 172 all the way to the Eclipse Jet, um, even the popular Beach King Air and uh, Piper Malibu. Um, you can do weight and balance if you'd like. Uh, change the time of day, um, also change the sky conditions or um, even the weather. So there's uh, multiple things you can take a look at. Um, this, uh, like I said, this is definitely something that works very well um, for beginners and advanced players. But um, this also has a pretty neat feature where you can play multiplayer uh, with other players. Um, I believe you do have to be on the same network. Um, it's something I haven't had an opportunity to try out yet, but should be pretty interesting. So what we're going to do as uh, let's stick with the plane we got um, change the sky conditions a little bit and let's see if we can get her going yeah. all right flaps her up or down shall we say throttle uh, let's give her a roll and as you notice the way to control the aircraft is by tilting left or right um, you can reset the the center point for this by going into the settings, but um, what we'll do is we'll see if we can get her off the ground here. Looks like I had the brakes on, so we're up. Bring the flaps back down here. It seems my uh, center point is a little bit off, so perfect opportunity to show you how this works. Um, what we'll do is we'll go over here to settings, and uh, you see the button here, set current phone pitch and roll as a center. That way we reset everything here. So let's uh, give this another try. And it's a little bit better there. And uh, let's get the gear up. So you can definitely tell the graphics are pretty smooth. This is a pretty cool. Um, application uh, regardless of what um, 
whether you're an advanced or a beginner. Um, it's pretty neat. You can definitely use it to do instrument approaches or just fly around with friends or if you just want to uh, just show off a little bit and um, and uh, get some flight time here. But if you're familiar with the desktop version of X-Plane, um, this sh should be very uh, familiar to you as far as the way it looks. And um, some of the functionality, of course, you'll want to take a look at the manual. Uh, the manual may be a little bit, uh, give you some information as far as how to fly this. But uh, definitely a cool app, some great 3Ds. And uh, definitely should check it out. But um, that's it. So this is the uh, X-Plane 9 Android app.